Hi everyone, in this video, we will learn reliability and validity of the data, how we have to check. And reliability and validity because that is for the questionnaire, whether is our questionnaire is reliable or valid and valid. So let me start. I have already taken 100 respondents data. You can see here, this is my SPSS file. And uh, already in the variable view, you can see I had already defined because I had collected on the uh, Likert scale. Now, what we have to do with this data, first uh, we will learn how we have to check the reliability. Let's say I will go there. Here is analyze, then scale, then reliability analysis. So I will transfer all the variables, I mean all the items to towards the right hand side rather than total. So what we have to check Cronbeck Alpha, right? So we will click here, okay. Scale if item deleted, right? Items also and uh, uh, rest is fine, right? Run by Alpha. Continue. Then we have to press OK. So now you can see for my questionnaire, Cronbeck Alpha is 0 0.907, and it is very good. Number of items are 20, and Cronbeck Alpha is 0 0.907, so it is very good. If it is 0 0.6, then it's OK, and it's above 0 0.8, so then it is good, and 0 0.9 is very good. It should be closer to one. So here is you can see uh, standard deviation also and Cronbeck Alpha if item deleted. You can see you can delete one item, right? And then after that, again, you can cross check your uh, Cronbeck Alpha. And if Cronbeck Alpha is improved, so you can delete that item. You can drop this item. So this one is the Cronbeck Alpha if item deleted right so now you can you can refer this table also this is the uh, one thing i mean overall cronbeck alpha we have calculated but another thing here is item wise also we have to check right these are the items one two three so this is uh, constructing one variable so this is our the construct wise also we have to check our Cronbeck alpha. So what I have to do if I want to check construct wise Cronbeck alpha, what I have to do, I have to go there, reliability analysis and again reset and I will simply transfer EC1, EC2 and EC3 because they are, construct, they are making one construct or we can call it one factor. These are the items of that factor. So simply I will press OK. So I can see here, Cronbeck alpha of this particular construct is only 0 0.670. It's low, right? It's on the, it should be above 0 0.8. So then we can treat it as it is good. So let me check another one, one more construct I have. So reliability and reset. And now I want to check this construct, GP1, GP2, and GP3. Let me check what is my Cronbeck alpha. So you can see in this case, Cronbeck alpha is 0.845. That's very good Cronbeck alpha. So we can go ahead, right? And uh, this is the, uh, on the base, th this is the method how you have to calculate reliability. Now we can come to the validity of the data. So how we have to cross check and uh, validity of the data. So for this purpose, what I have done, this 100 data I have taken is the total of this data of the one single respondent. For this purpose, what I did in my Excel sheet, what I have done, let me delete this row. You can you can you can see here. I will select this complete data of the all hundred respondent, right here. Then I would put my cursor here, right, and uh, auto sum. A moment I would press auto sum. Then this formula is visible, and after that I would press enter, and I will drag this cell till the last cell where I require all this data. So you can see here. Same data, right? This is the total. So I'm sure you understand how we had created this uh, total call. This, this one is the mm, sum of the data. So what I have to do, simply I will copy this data. 
from this place and I will paste this data in my SPSS file and I have already did this. Now I want to check validity of the data. So what I have to do, simply I have to go there. Validity we have to check through correlation. So by variate correlation, right, we will reset and okay, fine. All these things we have to transfer towards the right hand side and we want Pearson two-tailed and here is the flex significant correlation. Then we have to press okay. So now you can see uh, this is the total, right? Total is uh, 0.45 and that is, you can see, first of all, what is reflecting? Yes. First row, I mean, within this EC1, Pearson correlation significant at the two tail and, and number of the data is 100, right? My sample size is 100. So it is significant, right? It is significant. And here is also for the next one item, EC2 also, that is significant. It should be 0 0.00. It should be less than 0 0.05. And I'm sure in my all the cases, this is the 0 0.00. That is significant. And uh, what we have to do, this is the one way. So we can say our questions are valid questions. And another thing we have to cross check. I have already, take, I have already taken table of critical values for Pearson's are so I have taken table value critical values and you can see for the two tail test and this one is the 0 0.1 0 0.05 that means 95 percent confidence interval and this is 99 percent confidence interval and I have taken these values and this is the degree of freedom so degree of freedom let's say here is if you are if we will compare both these values compare obtained result of the correlation coefficient against the critical values in the table degree of freedom at two tailed n minus two so calculated value is greater than table value it is significant so we can say this is a valid question and now we can see here love hundred and uh, our uh, in our case n minus two that means ninety eight is our degree of freedom so let me 98 right and uh, or uh, or anything else we have to cross check right what is our let's say 40 i mean at the 40 42 minus 2 we can cross check this is the validity this one is the values you can see here this is the value let's say we will talk about right this is the value 0.89 right so simply what we have to do we will cross check this value at the tabular value critical value so it should be this value should be greater than that value table value if it is greater than then we can say this is the r questions are valid question so i'm sure this video would be helpful to you and uh, you can cross check your reliability and validity. Thank you. Thanks a lot.